Hi, I'm Lars, and I'm going to give you a demonstration of the LZX Visionary Video Synthesizer, starting with some of the most basic modules. So the color encoder is where everything exits the system. This is where our video goes out of the system to a television or a VCR or a capture device. You'll notice here we have red, green, and blue inputs. And then we have red, green, and blue gain controls and red, green, and blue bias knobs. The bias knobs control the relative brightness of each color, red, green, and blue. The bias controls go from minus 1 to 1. The viewable range is between 0 and 1. You can think of 0 and 1 volts as 0% and 100% brightness. If we turn up all the colors simultaneously, we get white or monochrome. Let's start by patching in the output of a video oscillator into our red input on the encoder. All right now you see the screen flashing very brightly because that oscillator is not synchronized to the video clock yet. So we're going to do that to create kind of a triangle ramp. Now we're seeing this signal in black and white because when you patch to this top input here, um, the signal is cascaded down to the green and the blue inputs on the jack switches. For example, if we insert a signal into the green input, the other end of this cable is unplugged. So we're, we're breaking the green connection. We can turn all of these knobs to their center position to zero it all out. So here's our red, green, and blue. We can also turn the knob to the left to get an inverted version of that signal. For example, here's the inverted signal going to red. There's the positive signal going to red. So right off the bat, just with these controls, we can get different sorts of color schemes and palettes going on with just a single monochrome input signal. Of course, we could insert other signals. into the other colors. And then control each of those signals separately. Right now we have three video oscillators being fed into our color encoder. Now within the LZX visionary system, any input is suitable for any type of signal. For example, we can take the envelope output of this dope for complex envelope generator LFO module and patch it directly into the color encoder. to voltage control the brightness of those colors. Or we could take an external video signal, such as a genlocked camera, and feed that in directly, too. So let's send that LFO to green. Camera is going to red. And we're going to send a video oscillator to blue. So that's three different types of signals at different frequency ranges feeding the three different color inputs on the color video encoder.